during that uh, speech to the team? Well, you know, we challenge our guys that they got to understand their, their physicality of this game that it's unlike other games. And, you know, basketball, not to disparage those things, but pass skeletons like basketball on grass, you know. And a lot of guys look pretty just running around, but it's till, till the physicality of the game, you know, gets introduced until you really find out who you are. And I just challenged our guys to, to go out today and, you know, compete and really worry about the physicality of it. And I thought our guys, you know, rose to the occasion today. What were some of the uh, positive takeaways you uh, observed from the uh, practice today? Well, you know, we, we finished the, the uh, uh, practice with a live drill where it was a second down play, the third drill. Uh, and it was the only drill we did today that was live. So you actually get a chance to see, you know, when, when you're doing thud, there's a quick whistle. You want to protect guys. But you don't know who's going to break a tackle, who made someone miss. Uh, it, was, it was fun to see some guys out there, you know, make tackles in space and other guys make guys miss. Thanks, Coach. Uh, Coach, sounds like Juwan Hughes has been having a, a good start in camp. Can you um, kind of talk about what he's, what he's been doing on the field? Yeah, uh, Juju, you know, we knew he's a playmaker. Uh, he's not a very big guy, but he's a gamer. Um, you know, it's, it's funny, Coach Ward and I were talking about you know, sometimes doing drill work, you know, he looks a little awkward, doesn't, doesn't look like, uh, you know, he's, he's going to be a guy, but when the lights come on and, 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 you know, the offense is running, he makes plays. I mean, are we talking about a guy that could could get playing time this year? I think there's a good possibility. You know, this, today was the first day we were in full pass, so we got to see the physicality of it. it we, we, we lined him up the bulldog drill today, and he, and he fought his tail off. That was good to see. Uh, it's a very physical game, so it's hard for true freshmen to come in and make the impact guys, but so far he's competing pretty well. Um, another guy, another local guy I wanted to ask about is uh, Josh Hogan from Clovis. Mm -hmm. Can you explain kind of the process of how he ended up here um, walking on? Uh, well, he, he reached out to us. We've been recruiting him the whole time. Uh, you know, we thought he was going to go you know, play, you know, be a wrestler. Uh, but, but he decided that uh, I think probably because we, we got a wrestling program, uh, you know, coming in here now that you know he thought he'd have a chance maybe to, to play football and wrestle. I think he always wanted to stay here in Fresno and play for the Dogs, and we're happy he did because uh, he's got some grit to him and he's still learning as a freshman. But but I think he's got a nice upside. Um, and one other guy, <laughs> oh, sure. uh, another local guy, George Helmuth. Mm -hmm. um, I know he had a. Pretty decent spring, got a little bit of playing time last year. What do you see as his role this year? Well, you know, he's going to compete for, for to be one of our uh, starting inside linebackers. You know, a year ago as a redshirt freshman, uh, did a great job on special teams, and because of the injuries, he ended up starting some games at the end of the season for us. And uh, he got some valuable experience. He's probably not as physically as talented as some of our other guys, but he battles uh, as hard as anybody, and, and uh, uh, really happy that, that he's out here, you know, working his tail off.